Hello? Hello! Thank you for patiently waiting for another video. We are back today with a nail tutorial. I'm not much of an almond shape or stiletto shape kind of gal, but I think after this video, I might be an almond shape kind of gal. I like the way my hands look with an almond shape. They look more dainty. Whatever it's doing for my hands, I'm into it. Today's look was inspired by something that I had found on Pinterest years ago. I was able to track it down and I went to the magazine article from where this was pinned and I was able to see what the girl in the photo was wearing and she had on Salon Perfect press-ons that were like a black French manicure with kind of like an oil slick look. So I decided to recreate it. I think it looks great and it's kind of cool that if you don't want to go through all of this, you can just get the press-ons and get this look that way. So that is what is on the menu for today. As always, everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. And for anybody that is new to my channel, I am not a professional nail tech. I'm not a professional nail anything. I'm just a gal at home trying to save a couple bucks. Everything that I have learned has been through trial and error and watching my old nail tech do my nails. I'm not a pro, nor am I claiming to be, and I only do my own nails. So there's that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed, and let's get into it. As always, I'm starting out with my busted up natural nails. Would it really be a beauty vault video if I didn't have a cleaning related injury somewhere on my hand? And if the skin around my nails didn't look like hamburger meat from the stress induced picking? I don't think so. The first thing I'm doing is trimming my natural nails with my nail clippers. As I've said in my previous videos, I don't like to see my natural nails peeking out underneath when I'm applying any form of nail extensions. I'm using my little hand vacuum to clean up my nail clippings and then I'm moving on to prepping my nails. As always, I'm starting out by applying the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover to my cuticles. I'm letting it sit for a moment to soften up the skin around my nails and then I'm taking the paddle side of my cuticle pusher tool and I'm pushing back my cuticles and scraping away any dead skin that has built up around my nails. I'm then wiping away all of that mush with a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe, and then I'm moving on to gently trimming away all of that dead hangy skin left behind with my cuticle nippers. Today I'll be revisiting the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip System. If you want an in-depth description of this system or you want more details, I would highly suggest watching my first two videos on it. They recently came out with short tips, so I thought that I would step outside of my usual style which is square or long coffin and play around with a short almond shape. I'm sizing the tips to my natural nails and when doing this I always make sure that the tip fits perfectly on my natural nail from sidewall to sidewall. The cuticle area around my thumb is more of a square shape, so I usually have to reshape my tips with a hand file to fill in this little gap here.
Once my tips are sized, I'm removing the shine from the inside part of the tip that makes contact with my natural nail. You can remove the shine in two ways. You can either etch the inside of the tip with an e-file, or if you don't have an e-file, you can apply a nail primer on the part of the tip that is going to make contact with your natural nail. I discovered the nail primer trick on one of Kiara Sky's Instagram posts, and uh, it has saved me a lot of time, so it's what I'm going to do to prep the rest of my tips. Now that my tips are prepped, it's time to prep my natural nails. I start by filing the tops of my nails with a gentle nail file to remove the shine, and then I'm wiping off the excess nail dust with my CND Nail Surface Cleanser on a lint-free wipe. Next, I'm applying the prep to my natural nails, which is step one in the jelly tip system. I'm then following up prep with the primer, which is step two in the system. So you may recognize this white spot on my nail from my last video where I told you I slammed a cupboard door on it. And in today's video, I'm going for a French set, which means that it will likely show through my tip. So rather than applying the clear builder gel, which is step three, directly on my nail as I normally would, I decided to try to color the builder a little bit with some gel polish to try to diffuse that white spot a little bit. On a piece of wax paper, I mixed a few drops of the clear builder with a little bit of exposed and the perfect nude gel polishes by Kiara Sky. Mixed together it kind of looks like the color of my natural nail beds so I'm applying a thin layer to my natural nails using a synthetic brush and then I'm curing my nails in my LED lamp for about 45 seconds. I was debating applying the colored builder to the inside of my tips as well, but I decided to go with the clear instead because I feel like I can see what I'm doing a lot better with the clear builder for some reason. So I'm applying a bit of my builder to the inside of my primed tip. I'm turning on my Kiara Sky flash cure lamp so that it's ready to go. And then I'm sliding the tip down to my cuticle, slowly applying pressure from the cuticle down to the free edge to push out any air bubbles. And when I'm happy with the placement, I slowly slide the nail under the lamp to flash cure for 15 seconds, let go, and cure for an additional 30 seconds. I was really hoping that the act of placing my tip on my finger and then slowly sliding it under the flash cure lamp would get easier with time and practice, but I still have so much trouble with it, so I think I might actually order the new lamp that Gelish came out with. It's like a touch LED light that they released as part of their soft gel tip system similar to this one, so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. Okay, now that my tips are on, although they look great and I do like the shape, I wanted them slightly more pointy. So I did a bit more filing and shaping and removed the surface shine using a 180 grit file. When I'm happy with the shape, I move on to smoothing down my cuticle area and giving it more of a natural look by going over it with my e-file and a fine carbide bit. Then I switch over to a buffing block.
Normally at this point, I would apply two to three coats of color gel polish, which provides a bit more strength to the nails. And then I would finish off with top coat. But because I'm doing a black French manicure, I'll have to add a little bit more strength to the nails by applying another thin coat of the Clear Builder. Once it's on, I cure it in my LED lamp, I wipe away the sticky layer with my CND Nail Surface Cleanser, and I remove the shine with my buffing block before painting my black French tips. For my black tips, I'll be using Gelish Black Shadow Gel Polish. Because my nails are an almond shape, I'll be creating a stronger smile line than I normally would if my nails were square. The applicator brush is too large to do this, so I'll be placing a few drops of my gel polish on a piece of wax paper and creating my smile lines using a dotting tool and a small synthetic art store brush. I will also have a little bit of my CND Nail Surface Cleanser and a clean synthetic brush next to me to clean up and perfect my smile lines before curing. When I'm creating a stronger than usual smile line, I use a dotting tool to map it out. I place a dot at the center of my nail where I want it to dip, and then I place two dots slightly higher up on each side of my nail, and then I connect the dots using my dotting tool. I learned this technique from Susie on Nail Career Education here on YouTube, so shout out to her. Once I've connected the dots and have my placement kind of figured out, I fill the tip with my pointy synthetic brush and then I go in with a clean brush and a little bit of my nail surface cleanser and I perfect the smile line so that it's nice and crisp. Once I'm happy with it, I cure my nail in my LED lamp for 45 seconds and then I repeat the process until I'm happy with the opacity of my tip. This gel polish in particular takes a few coats to build up, so if you have a better one, it probably won't take as many coats to get it to your desired opacity. By my third coat, I ended up switching over to a rounded synthetic brush to speed up the process. And when my French tip is done and cured, I just wipe away the sticky layer and move on to my next finger. I was completely out of frame when applying the first few coats on my index finger. So here is the tail end of that. And I'm gonna zip it and allow you to enjoy the process for a bit.
because I did several coats of the gel polish when painting my tips, they do have a little bit more height compared to the rest of my nail. So instead of just applying the top coat and moving on, I'm actually going to apply another coat of the builder, not only to protect the French tips before I buff the surface again, but also to add just a little bit of height to the rest of the nail. Here's how the manicure is looking so far. This little bubble that I failed to push out on my middle finger is driving me a little bit crazy, but I'm hoping that it'll be less visible once I apply the rub-on powder. I'm just wiping away the sticky layer off of my nails one more time, and then I'm giving them one more buff so that they're nice and even and smooth. Then I'm wiping the excess dust with a little bit of alcohol and a lint-free wipe and then I'm moving on to applying a very thin layer of non-wipe top coat. The Kiara Sky Rub-On Powder is supposed to be used alongside their Rub-On non-wipe base and top but I don't have that one so I'm just going to be using their regular non-wipe top coat and I'm going to cure it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. So this is the Mermaid Rub-On Powder, and to apply it, I'm using the Kiara Sky Rub-On Applicator. But if you don't have something like this, a sponge eyeshadow applicator would do the trick. Even using your fingertip would give you a similar effect. I have tried it, and it works just fine. I did two layers of the Rub-On Powder before I was satisfied with the shine, and I really had to rub it in until it was fully absorbed into the surface of the nail before moving on to my last layer of non-wipe top coat. When I'm applying my last layer of non-wipe top coat, I make sure to cap my free edges to prevent the rub-on layer from lifting, and then I cure it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds.
whenever I work with rub-on powder, I have to wipe my nails quite a few times before getting all of the excess dust off of the skin around my nails. And I normally follow it up with a very thorough soapy hand washing before moving on to applying my cuticle oil. So that about completes this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. I think the rub-on powder effect looks pretty cool under studio lights, but the real magic happens in natural daylight. I have been absolutely mesmerized by my nails all week, and so has Louie. Anyway, that is all for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed, and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.